never mind. So I have or not, you know. I mean, the prophecies of the first hour of the Eve of God's last day of Holy Pascha week may blessing be with us all. I mean, I mean, the prophecies of the first the prophet, hour holy of the Eve of God's last day of Holy Pascha week may blessing be with us all. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. I mean, and behold, the, the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. He said to me, Son of man, you have seen the house of the Lord was blessed. Then I stood and behold, there was a voice from the house. The Spirit lif
Christ, home of David the prophet and the king, may his blessings be with us all, amen. Save me, O God, for waters flooded my soul. According to the abundance of your compassions, look upon me, alleluia. We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy of the Holy Gospel. In wisdom, let us attend to the Holy Gospel. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Therefore, my Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my Father. Therefore, there was a division again among the Jews because of these sayings. And many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Bow down before the Holy Gospel. Lebron of York and Shivin of the Midmites, who have promoted the prophecy of the same the hour, of the evil book, so they must be also. From Amos the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us all in me. You come to Bethel and act lawlessly, and multiply your transgressions in Gilgal. You bring your sacrifice in the morning, and your tithes every three days. Moreover, outside they read things of the law, and call for professions, proclaim that the children of Israel love these things says the Lord God. And in all your cities, I gave you uncleanness of teeth, and in all your places, a lack of bread. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. And also, I withheld rain from you for three months before the, before the harvest. I caused it to rain upon one city while I withheld rain from another. On one field it rained, but where it did not rain, the crops withered. So two or three cities wandered to another city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet, says the Lord, you did not return to me. I struck you with a parching and blight. When you multiplied your gardens, your vineyards, your fig trees, and your olive trees. The caterpillar devoured them. Yet you did not turn back to me, says the Lord. I sent forth dead death against you by way of Egypt, and I killed your young men with a sword, together with your captured horses, and in my wrath I brought fire upon your army, your army camps. Yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. I overthrew you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and yet became like a torch that burns out after being plucked out of the fire. Yet, even after all this, you did not return to me, says the Lord. Therefore, O Israel, thus shall I do to you, and because I will do and because I will do thus to you. Make yourself ready to call upon your God, O Israel. For behold, I am the one who strengthens the thunder and creates the wind and proclaims his anointed one to mankind, making the daybreak and the darkness while treading upon high places of the earth. The Lord God Almighty is his name. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, and to the ages of all ages. Amen. The doxology of the second hour of the evening of Thursday of Holy Basha week made blessing be with us all. I mean, make us wise to pray thankfully our Father to our good heaven. Hallelujah.
Oh, 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 oh,
Oh. Uh-huh. 
Psalm of David, his words were smoother than oil, and yet they were arrows. Listen to my prayer, O God, and do not despise my supplication. We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. In wisdom, let us attend to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, today's lesson to be upon us all. And being in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spike dye. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. But there were some who were indignant among themselves and said, Why was this fragrant, fragrant oil wasted? For it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And they criticized her sharply. But Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, and whenever you finish, you may do them good. But me you do not have always. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Assuredly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. And then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went to the chief priest to betray him to them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give and, prom and promised to give him money. So he sought now he might conveniently betray him, bow down before the holy gospel. From Amos the prophet, may his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. O house of Israel, hear this word of the Lord has spoken against you, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, out of all the families of the earth, I have especially known you. Therefore, I shall exact vengeance upon all for your sins. If two people walk together, will each one not come to know the other? Will a lion roar from his lair in the forest if he has no prey? Will a lion's whelp cry out from his den if he has nothing? Will a, bolt, will a bird fall to the earth without a fowler? Will a snare he sprung if it has a... If it has caught nothing, if a trumpet is sounded in a city, will not the people be alarmed? If evil should be in a city, has not the Lord brought it? For the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals instruction to his servants, the prophets. A lion shall roar, and who will not fear? The Lord God speaks, and who will not prophesy? Proclaim it in the regions among the Assyrians and to the lands of Egypt, and say, Gather yourselves to the mountains of Samaria, and behold the many remarkable things in her midst and the oppression that is within her. She does not know the things that will come against her, says the Lord. She stores up injustice and misery in her lands. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, O Tyr, your land round about you shall be made desolate, and your strength shall be sapped from you, and your land shall be plundered. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, and to the Lord of all ages. Amen. Thy son, O 
O anagnos ise volchem bef angeliones o web kata yohannen Rescue me, O Lord, from the evil man, from the unjust man, save me. Those who plotted violence in their heart, they prefer to battle all, all day long in their own. We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy to the holy gospel and the wisdom of this attempt to the holy gospel. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. These things Jesus spoke and departed and was hidden from them. But although he had done so many signs before them, that they did not believe in him, that the word of Elijah, the prophet, might be fulfilled which he spoke. Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom the arms of the Lord has been revealed? Therefore they cannot believe, because Elijah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts. Lest they should see with their eyes, lest they should understand with their hearts in turn, so that I should heal them. These things Elijah said when he saw the, when he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, even among the rulers, many believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the sin of God. For they love the praise of men. More than the praise of God, bow down before the holy gospel. Glory to God, glory to God. In the Bible, we have been sharing in the Bible, or not, or not, or not. The prophecy of the ninth hour of the eve of Good Thursday of Holy Pascha week may is blessed be with us all. Amen. From Ezekiel the prophet, may his holy blessing do this. Amen. Therefore speak to the house of Israel, son of man, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, Up to this point your fathers provoked me by the transgressions they committed against me. If I led them into the land, I swore with an oath to give them, and they saw every high hill and every shade tree. There they, they sacrificed to their gods, and there they appointed fragrant offerings and poured out their drink offerings. Then I said to them, What is this high place you go to? So they Call its name Bama. To this day, therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Do you defile yourselves with the lawlessness of your fathers and commit fornication after their abominations? You defile yourselves in the first fruits of your gifts with all your inventions to this very day. Shall I answer you? O house of Israel, as I live, says the Lord, I will not answer you, nor will, I, nor will an answer occur to your spirit. For it will not be as you say. We will be like the nations and like the tribes of the earth, to worship trees and stones. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord, I will reign over you with an almighty hand, with a high arm, and with anger poured out. Glory be to the Holy Trinity, our God, and Sage of Lord. Amen. The doxology of the ninth hour of the eve of Good Thursday, Holy Bethcha week. May the blessing be with us all. Amen. Make us wish to be thankfully our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as in heaven. Give us day our day. Give us our Christmas. 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 Give us our Yes, <laughs> one and the other, my son, may I be the man who is the naughty, 
Most of we thankfully our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom comes, and will be thy will as it is in heaven. We pray for the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the Lord of all His kingdom. Ite testament so fair, or the cosmen tagge from Gele. O anagnos ise, horchen bef angeliones, o web katayo anen ageyo. The Psalm of David the Prophet and King, yea, his blessing to the Solomon. O Lord my God, I have trusted in you. Rescue me and save me from those who pursue me, lest they seize my soul like a lion. Alleluia. We beseech our Lord and God that we may be worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. In wisdom, let us attend to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. May his blessing be with us all. Amen. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my, my Father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, You are blaspheming, because I said I am the Son of God. If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Bow down before the Holy Gospel. From Jeremiah the prophet made holy blessings be the song. For thus says the Lord, Will not he who falls arise? Or or he who turns away, will he not return? Why therefore has has this my people turned away from me in a shameful way, strengthened themselves in their choice, and were not willing to return? Indeed, give ear and listen. Will they not speak thus? There is no man who repents of his vices, saying, What have I done? The runner ceases to run his race, as the sweating horse ceases to run when he is tired. Even the stork in the sky knows her appointed time, as the turtle dove and the swallow of the field. The sparrows watch for the times of their king, but my people do not know the judgments of the Lord. How can you say, We are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? The lying pen becomes vanity for the scribe. Wise men are put to shame and convicted, for they rejected the word of the Lord. What is the what wisdom is in شو يسنا هنا قليلو يا خن بغانا وبيوتنا مفشيرين بدك ما يسواب أو نوتي نوت أمين 
Doxaba Trika, Ayuka, Agumna, Mati, Kanika, Ika, Sosi, Ono, Stony, Oran, Amiza, Doxology of the eleventh hour of the evening, put us the holy Bastawi. May the blessing be with us all, Ami, make us wise to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done. All the letters of the living, give us the idea of the Lord's Father's first, as we do his Lord's first, and Jesus. The Lord's Father's first, and Jesus. The Lord's Father's first, and Jesus. The Lord's Father's first, and Jesus. Yellow is also petty gom, and be all a bismon and be a my shine, mean a man or ill been not even all. Talk that he gom, and be all a bismon and be a my shine, mean by choice, he saw specialist. As a tear and arras also, that he gom, and be all a bismon and be a my shine, mean. Shine, <laughs> Shine, 
נאמנו אל בנותי בן אורוס אוקטטי גום נם בי אוהו נם בזמו נם בי עמי שאיני אמין בשוי שיאי סוס ואיך רסטוס וסוטי רן אחסות סוקטטי גום נם בי אוהו נם בי שמו נם בי עמי שאיני עמי Let us wish to pray thank for the all Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name in the comes I will be done in the last of the day of the last day of the day of the last day of the 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 day of the
cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not believe me, I do not judge him, for I do not come to judge the world. But to save the world, he who rejects me and does not receive my words, as that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day, for I have not spoken on my own authority. But the Father who sent me gave me a command what I should say and what I should speak, and I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak, bow down before the Holy Gospel. me 
ਨਾਨ the exposition of the first hour of the evening for us if only was coming in blessing be with us all amen in the prophecy of ezekiel we read about the inner court in which the lord describes the wall separating him and his people who defiled his name with their abominations when we hear about the difficult situation of man here in the old testament and are brought and are brought to anguish and despair we then read of the new testament promise of the cross thus in the gospel we hear the lord explaining to us that out of his great love he will lay down his life thus the wall of separation is removed and we may enter into the bosom of the heavenly father we also focus on the power of the lord to lay down his life the exposition emphasizes to us that the crucifix crucifixion is not by force but out of love that which baffled the hypocritical jews st john chrysostom says i have power to lay down my life who does not have the power to lay down his life since it is the power of any that will to kill themselves but he does not say this but i have su- i have in such a way the power to lay it down that no that no this power no one can affect this against my will this power does not belong to men for we have no power to lay it down in any other way than by killing ourselves and if we fail and if we fall into the hands of men who plot against us and have the power to kill us we no longer are free to lay it down but they may even take it from us against our will this was not the case with christ even when others plotted against him for he had the power to not to lay it down therefore after saying that no man takes it from me he adds I have the power to lay down my life that is I alone can decide as to laying it down a thing which we do not have for many others for for many others also are able to take it from us for he came to death voluntarily and if so he can take it again when he wants since he alone could lay down his life he was able by the same power to take it again see how from the beginning he proved the second and from his death showed that his resurrection was indisputable the exposition of the third hour of the eve of both Thursday of the Pascha we may blessing be with us all amen before we grieve about the betrayal and suffering of our lord the church expressed to us the outpouring of love we should have for our lord in this hour we read of the love and repentance by mary of bethany and the gospel of this hour although the psalm is identical to the one chanted in the first hour of the holy thursday this psalm is in the psalm in this hour is chanted in normal tune caperto and on holy thursday it is chanted in the same tune as pecatronos the psalm chanted on great friday also the prophecy read here is that of Amos where God tells Amos that even when he has blessed his people they had ignored him God explains to us how he allowed so much adversity to befall us so that we would turn to him he allowed drain drought waste locusts pestilence stench fire and brimstone but we but we did not turn to him how much he grieves for our repentance saint jerome says the woman has a very special message for you who are about to be baptized she broke her alabaster jar that christ may make you may, may make you christ's his anointed just as the grain of wheat unless it falls into the ground and dies does not bring forth any fruit so also unless the alabaster jar be broken we cannot spread its fragrance to him it seemed to be to him judas it seemed to be wasting the ointment because the jar is broken but for us it was a great good because the perfume spread throughout the world why are you indignant judas because the alabaster jar is broken you wanted to keep the perfume sealed up so that it would not reach others
The exposition of the six hours of the eve of Gutha, the Yuvali Vascha, we made the listening be with us all Ami. As in the last hour, we spoke of the outpouring of love from the heart of Mary of Bethany. And in this hour, we see the cold, stubborn, and hardened hearts. In the prophecy of Amos, we hear the warning of God to his people against all of their iniquities, laziness, and stubbornness. The Lord rebukes them for their sin and wards them that an adversary shall arise and plunder their goods. Once such wickedness is declared and exposed by God, man seeks salvation. So we hear the psalmist cry out for deliverance from evil and sin. Finally, in the gospel, we find the Jews were unable to fully accept Christ and harden their hearts because they loved the praise of men more than God and feared ex exclusions from the synagogue. St. John Chrysostom says, Evil is a many-faceted term. I wish that you should learn the exact meaning of each expression in order that on account of amb ambiguity, you may not confuse the nature of things and fall into blasphemy. There is evil, which is real evil, fornication, adultery, covetousness, and the countless dreadful things which are not worthy of the utmost rep reproach and punishment. And then there is evil, which is not evil, but that is called so famine, pestilence, death, disease, and other of a similar nature. These are not evils. I just call them evil for this explanation. Why not? Because if they were evils, they would not become the sources of good, chastising our pride, guarding our laziness, and zeal, and leading us unto zeal, making us more attentive. St. Augustine says, Why would we blame the Jews for their disbelief when God has blinded their eyes? They could not believe because Isaiah so prophesied, as God told him what their situation would be. But if you ask, what was the reason of their disbelief? I will instantly answer, they did not want to. As God foresaw their corrupted will, he foretold his prophet as the future is not hidden from him. Christ our Savior has come and has suffered that through his sufferings he may save us. Let us glorify him and exalt his name for he has shown us mercy according to his great mercy. The exposition of the ninth hour of the eve of Good Thursday, Holy Vascha week, with blessing be with us all. Amen. We continue in this hour to focus on the enemies of righteousness who seek to capture Christ and his followers. During this hour, we read of the amazing contrast between the unbelieving, stubborn, proud Pharisees that attempt to stone Christ and the patient, wise Savior. Their attempt to stone him is not simply a physical act, but in the denial of his commandments, as prophesied of in the Old Testament. Ezekiel speaks about the blasphemy, treachery, and defilement that was committed against the Lord. They also did not offer sacrifices. This was the stony heart that rejected God centuries before his incarnation. The psalm in this hour speaks of protection against enemies who desire to take his soul. This is similar to what Job endured when the devil requested permission to bring tribulations upon Job. The Lord gave him permission to touch his body, but not his soul. In the gospel, the Jews, full of wrath and malice, take up stones to throw them at the Savior. He escapes from them. Thus, we see the stony heart becomes a dangerous weapon, which wounds and injures. St. Augustine says, why did the Jews try to stone him when he said, I and my father are one? The Jews bore it no longer and hardened in their own ways. They had resources to stones. They had recourse to stones. See how that the Jews understood what the Arians did not understand, for they were angry because they felt it could not be said, I and my father are one, unless he was equal to the father. Christ our Savior has come and has suffered, that through his sufferings he may save us. Let us glorify him and exalt his name, for he has shown us mercy according to his great mercy. The exposition of the eleventh hour of the Eve of Good Thursday, Holy Bath, how made the listening be with us all. Amen. In the prophecy of Jeremiah, we read about the danger of receiving the Holy Word without repentance and returning to God. If our hearts were darkened or hardened, as we read in the last in the last hours, we must repent and return to the light of the world. If we do not repent, then we will remain in the state of perpetual backsliding. This was the state of the scribes and the Pharisees who did not accept the word of God, but rejected him due to the coldness of their heart and stubbornness of mind. So let us rise from our foolishness and sin. The 
the psalm is a good reminder of this message, one that in the early church had determined was an essential message to hear every morning during the first hour of the event. Finally, in the gospel, Christ explains that he is a divine light that separates light from darkness, truth from trickery, wisdom from confusion. But they were still stubborn and did not understand the way of the Lord as the people explained in the prophecy of Jeremiah. St. John Chrysostom says, Falling in itself is not a serious matter, but what is serious is staying down after falling and not trying to rise again. Cowardice and slothfulness hide the intention of ethical weakness under the pretense of despair. I wish that we, the fallen, do not despair, but say, will they fall and not rise? There are people who rose from the pit of evil to heaven, from the worldly corruption to the angelic life reaching a level of being capable of casting out demons and doing other miracles. So our advice is not to avoid falling as much as it is to, to try to rise after falling. Let us rise again, even if it seems too late. How long shall we stay down? How long shall we stay drunken by the increasing desire in the temporal interests? All have fallen and do not care to rise. That is why our advice does not concern not falling, but the ability of the fallen to rise. Let us rise again, brethren, however late we may seem to be. Let us stand again, stand with prestige. To fall is not that serious. What is more serious is to stay down after without rising again, to be coward and slothful, and to remain helpless with despair. Christ our Savior has come and has suffered, that through his sufferings he may save us. Let us glorify him and exalt his name, for he has shown us mercy according to his great mercy. Que Jesús bien su tierra y absenta y la fenebre en su tierra the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. As we are approaching the, the end of this blessed Holy Week of Pascha, we follow the, all the events happening during this uh, week, and the Church take us day by day. And today, the day of contrast, two events happen on this day. The first one is the Lord, he was in the house of Simon the Liver, and the woman came and poured fragrant oil on his head. At the same time, the contrast for this act of love and, and reality, Joseph the Iscariot, he went to the chief priest to make a deal with them, what to give him to betray the Lord and to deliver him uh, to them. And the church put these two events in contrast to each other to show that is the difference between the loyalty, the honesty, and the love, and the sacrifice of this woman, and the uh, betrayal and dishonesty and the love of money for uh, Judas Iscariot. But also the reading, including the, the story of Mary, the sister of Lazarus, who poured fragrant oil on the feet of the Lord six days before the Passover. This event happened two days before the Passover of today, because the Passover is on uh, Friday. And it is mentioned because uh, uh, Judas was attending at that time. And he criticized Mary about uh, that 
and he said that is why was this fragment oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor and as the gospel of saint john explained that is this he said not he cared for the poor but because he was a thief and had the money box and he used it to take uh, what was put in it so we have two 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 women mary which poured the fragment oil on the uh, feet of the lord as was in six days before the passover and it happened in the house of lazarus in Bethany, also and judas attended this but but the, the other woman which we don't know her name was not mentioned which happened two days before the passover and happened in the house of simon the liberal and judas did not attend but the disciples they said similar things what he said in the previous event that is why uh, this waste we have a third woman which also poured the fragment oil on the feet of the Lord. Uh, which is mentioned in the Gospel of St. Luke chapter uh, 7, but in, con uh, in different contexts. That's happened in the house of Simon the Pharisee, and this woman who came behind the Lord, and she washed his feet with her tears, wiped with her hair, and put a fragment of oil, and the criticism came from Simon about how he allowed her to touch him while he, she, is, she is a sinner and the Lord forgive her sin. So just to know the different three stories of the woman, but the focus today is about uh, the woman and uh, who poured the fragment oil and, and this day, Wednesday, uh, two days before the Passover. And the church put this to see the, uh, the difference between the two. That's why, uh, the, the psalm of the third hour, it is about uh, Joseph saying his words are were smoother than oil, yet are they so, uh, songs or, or parts. Uh, and we have the same uh, psalm also with this long uh, hymn to, tomorrow. Uh, in the first hour of Good Thursday, because in, as you will watch, as you follow tomorrow morning, in the first hour, there is a special hymn to uh, rebuke the betrayal of Judas the Iscariot. And the church put us these two uh, events to remind us how to be loyal to our Lord Jesus Christ, how to express our love to him, and uh, this sacrifice of this woman that was given, that is what she did to be uh, mentioned in wherever the gospel is, uh, is preached as a memorial for, memorial for her. And also the same gospel of this woman of Wednesday is read in the funeral of woman. The funeral of woman, we read the same uh, gospel because to tell that is this departed woman is like this woman she offered the costly flagging that is her life to uh, to the Lord. So this is the first contrast which we have on this day between uh, the woman Mary and Judas. The second contrast is between uh, the relationship of the Lord Jesus Christ to Judas Iscariot and the relationship of Satan to Judas Iscariot. And because it is mentioned about Judas Iscariot, that is, Satan entered him twice. Entered him twice. The first one mentioned in Luke uh, chapter 22, verse 3, and then Satan entered Judas. Their name Iscariot, who was numbered among the twelve. So he went his way and comforted with the chief priest and captain how he might betray him to them. 
The second time, which is mentioned about that is Satan entered uh, Judas. This is in, in June, uh, in, in the Gospel of St. John, uh, chapter 15, 26. Now, after the piece of bread, after the Lord gave him the piece of bread, Satan entered him. Then Jesus said to him, what you do, do quickly. St. Augustine explained this, how Satan entered him twice. He said that Satan, Satan first entered Judas when he planned in his heart to betray his Lord. It was an idea as a plan. And in, in this spirit, he came to the Last Supper. But after he reached for the bread, the devil no longer tempted Judas as a disciple of Christ, but took a position of Judas as his own. And the first thing he put front of him was just a plan. But after that, after he met uh, the Lord, and, and the Lord uh, told him about what he was going to do, then, but he continued in his plan. Now, the, uh, the devil took a position of him. Like ideas, when, when ideas come to us from the devil, and we accept this idea, or these ideas, and then after that, we work on this to, to move it from just thoughts to actions. So like it's two phases when the, when the devil to control a person started by the mind because usually the, the 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 devil attacks the mind of the person because the devil knows that is the center of our own action is our mind many things we do is based on an idea come to our mind so usually attack uh, us in our mind by different sorts and if we accept these thoughts, then the devil enters with us. And if we move to promote these thoughts into action and even defend these thoughts, then it's taken a position on, on us, like what happened to Judas. And if somebody has thoughts about God and the existence of God, he may reject these thoughts and there's no sin here, or may accept this source and start to believe on that there is no God. And then he moved to action to behave in, our, in his life as if there is no God, there is no judgment, there is we're not giving account, and maybe move more and more to defend this source and spread this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, different source. On the opposite side, and that's what devil uh, did for, for Satan and led him to, to destruction. And when he accepted Satan, then what is the outcome of that? It ended by his, his destruction, as we will see later on. On the other hand, the Lord reached out to Judas in many ways, but Unfortunately, Judas rejected the Lord. So he chose him one of the 12 apostles and sent him a mission to serve. He also, Judas, listened to the teaching of the Lord. He saw many miracles of him. And not only that, but the Lord also assigned him for very specific service. That is to be responsible for the money box. And this money box was with a, with a disciple to cover any expenses they are need and also to help the poor. But he was not honest in taking care of this uh, box, money box, but as mentioned in the Hawaii, he was a thief. And the Lord, of course, he knew that was not hidden from the Lord to know that this Judas was not 
honest. But he did not punish him. He did not remove him from the, uh, this responsibility. He left him. And we can wonder why. And why the Lord leave him? Because there was something more serious coming to this man, more than just this money mistaken. And if the Lord punished him, he may, or might, mustn't find this is excuse for him to betray the Lord as a revenge. But the Lord moved with him not only a second mile, but even the tenth mile, as we will see more. He washed his feet because he was among uh, the other the, the disciples who attended the washing of the feet and the Last Supper. And, and the Lord warned him. Yeah, the, the plot of, of, of Judas depended on to be secret. Because the Lord, they didn't know where he, where he is going to be. And that's why they make this deal with one who is in the close circle of the Lord. So it, the, the, all the plot is, is based on to be a secret, so the Lord not, not to know. But the Lord revealed to him that is, he, he knew what he was planning to do and in very clear language. So maybe he changed his mind and find that is his blood was discovered and, and, and repent. So after washing the feet of his disciples, he said, you are clean, but not all of you. For he knew who would betray him. And also he said, most assuredly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And he gave uh, an indication who this. It is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Scott. It's very clear. He told them who the one, because they asked it. When he said, one of you will betray me. So the disciples started to ask. And John, he asked the Lord about him. So the Lord told them very clearly who is going to betray him. Then he told him, what you do, do quickly. Of course, he's not ordering him to do this, but just like uh, when you evaluate, return to yourself for what I will do. And the, and the Gospel of St. Matthew is mentioned now, as they were eating, he said, Surely I say to you, one of you will betray me. And each one of the disciples asked, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He who dipped his hand with me in the dish will betray me. And he said, It would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Uh, but Judas asked, Rabbi, is it I? Then he said to him, you have said it. And I think it's very clear what is the Lord said to him. And when he came with uh, uh, soldiers uh, to, to seize the Lord, the Lord asked him and said to him, friend, and he's still calling him friend, friend, why you have come? And when he kissed him, he told him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? And that's why the church differentiates between the kiss of love and the kiss of, uh, of uh, hypocrisy and betrayal, which uh, that is Judas. So at the end, like what Adam and Eve did when they rejected the Lord, rejected his commandment and accepted the idea of the devil. And the devil, when came speaking to the servant, he attacked the mind of Eve and Adam regarding the reason of the commandment. He didn't go by attracting them to the tree, 
But first they attack the idea. Why God give you this commandment? He told them that is God will not surely die. It is not a matter of protection you because God told him when you eat from this tree you will surely die. Which means I want to protect you from dying. But the devil came through the serpent telling, no, you will not surely die. But God knows that when you eat from this tree, it will be like God, knowing good and evil. So the purpose of the commandment is not your protection, but the purpose is to protect himself. God to protect himself from you to be like him. And they accepted this idea. And, and because they accepted the idea, then they looked to the tree in different way. They find it attractive. Uh, to, to sight it, uh, delicious to eat from it, and so on. And uh, what is the end? The end is they lost. They were created in the image of God, and they lost it. The same also, what is the fate of Judas when he followed the devil? He lost everything. He lost of the Lord. He lost the money, which he took the three pieces even a small amount of money. Yes, he, 30 pieces, the 30 pieces of silver. That is, he went and threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed. And he lost his life because he committed suicide. Even he repented. Then Judas repented. But his repentant, repentance lacked the hope for acceptance. He felt what he did was wrong. He correct by giving the money back. Of course, he could not correct uh, the grains at all. But at least he repented. And this is different between him and St. Peter. And St. Peter, he did also very yeah, bad things. to the like the Lord seven times. But he repented. But he had hope. He had hope that is to be accepted. Judas he did not have this hope. And that's why he commits suicide. Because commit suicide means there is no hope. And people who commit suicide, because to re they reach a stage when they have no hope. And they think that is getting, uh, out, getting out of their life, that is, that is a solution. But it was not a solution for Judas. Because the beginning of trouble for him in, in eternity, and he lost also his eternal, his eternal uh, life. So therefore, the, the the lesson for us is to learn from Mary and from this woman how to offer our love to, to the Lord and to be uh, careful about the deception of the devil when it comes in, uh, uh, and to, to our mind with many thoughts. We have to be very careful, especially when some thoughts coming as if something good. Uh, and and also uh, to to be care to to be aware about the great love of God, even with Judas, even with Judas, God showed him a, a great a great love uh, uh, toward him. But unfortunately, he he. God never forced himself on anybody. He offered warning, advice, that whether to accept or not, uh, not to accept. And the church will remind us about Judas, right, what he represents, and to be very careful about at the end he lost everything as we mentioned. May our Lord Jesus Christ, who came to save us, and offer himself as a sacrifice for our salvation to uh, make us fiery in loving him and willing to sacrifice and offer all our life to him, to whom is glory now and ever. Amen. We ask and then to you all, 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 all 
followers, but that's the father of the doctorator and the holy one, the only begotten son who created and ordered all things, and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, the Holy Trinity, before whom every knee bows in heavens and on earth. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. For the sake of the heavenly peace, unity of all the churches in the world, and monastery, all holy places, their dwellers and their peoples, O God, have pity on your creation and save it from all evil. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O oh, you, through your uh, power, dispose the life of man before his creation and made all things with your wisdom and adorn the skies with the stars, the earth with vegetation, trees, vineyards, and the valleys and pasture and flowers. Now, our, O oh, our King, accept the prayer of your servant who placed himself in your hands, saying, To ask you along to hear us and to have mercy on us. O oh, great and the holy God who created man according to your image and likeness and give him a living and rational soul, have mercy, O oh Lord, on your creation which you have created. Have compassion on it and bestow upon us your mercy from the height of your holiness and from your prepared dwelling. We ask you, O oh Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. For you who saved your servant Noah's righteous, his children, their wives, with the clean and unclean animal from the flood in order to renew the earth. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. For you, the creator, provider of all, deliver your people from the flood of the sea of this passing world and protect them and the animals from all harm and provide needs of the birds as you provide for all birds, animals, ravens, their sustenance. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. For you who received us, who were received as a guest by your servant Abraham, the patriarch ate at his table and blessed his seed. O our king, now accept the prayers of your servant and the priest who place themselves in your hands, have compassion on the world, and save your people from every hardship, dwell in them, and accompany them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. We ask, O Lord, to guard us from all evil, to have compassion in your creation, and to all the people from the eyes of everyone look upon you, for you give them the food in due season. You are the sustainer of all of flesh, the help of those who have no help, and the hope of those who have no hope. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. Yeah. O you who look to the humble with a watchful eyes of protection, who saved Joseph and his master wife, set him over Egypt and spared him the days of hardship, so that his brother and father came, knelt before him, and took from him wait for the sustenance of their children and animals. Likewise, we bow down and kneel before you, O our Creator and Provider. We thank you concerning everything and in everything. We ask you, O Lord, to save, to save us from all tribulation. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O Lord, the Logos of God the Father, who works through the law, the prophet and the Old Testament and fulfill them. Save your people from all hardship and manage their life according to your goodwill. Save them from famines and calamities. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. Yeah. O you who supported the people of Israel for 40 years in the desert of Sinai, having no houses or the storehouses. Now, O my Lord, Protect your people, support them, and bless their homes and storehouses with your heavenly blessing. We ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. O oh, you who accepted the prayer of Elijah to speak to when the sky rain and the earth give fruit and blesses the peril of the of the and the vessel of the oil in the house of the widow. Accept the prayer of your people through the intercession of your only holy saints, 
and you prophet we ask you all of to hear us and have mercy on us all that those eyes full of mercy have compassion on the world and bless their crops and their storehouses even the little they have raise the water of the river according to their measure and give good temper to the winds bless the river this year and every year give joy to the face of the earth and sustain us we ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. For you accepted the repentance of the Ninevite, who they fasted and received the confession of the right thief on the cross. Likewise, make us ways to please you and to gain your compassion, crying and saying, Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Accept the repentance of your servants, their confession, their fast, their prayer, and their offering which are offered on your holy altar as an accepted incense. Have mercy on them. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. O you, the mighty provider, healer and physician of our souls and body, who tested his servant Job, healed him from his calamities, and he compensated him for with more than what he had. Have mercy on your people and save them from all calamities, tribulation, trials, and hardship for you, the upholder of those who trust in you. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. For Christ our God, the Logos of the Father, who sacrificed his holy disciples, washed their feet and made them leader of the believer and guides of the faith, who through them satisfied the hungry soul and taught them to pray, saying, our Father who art in heaven, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O you who works miracles and wonder, who fed the thousand with five loaves, raised the dead, and blessed the wedding at Cana of Galilee. Now, O Master, bless the bread, oil, plants, yeast, trades products and all the works of your servant we ask you O Lord to hear us and have mercy on us O Lord save your people and protect them with the sign of your life-giving cross with the state of the Christian throughout the world soften the hearts of the ruler toward them fill their hearts with compassion toward our brethren the poor and the needy and keep every evil away from them we ask you O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us for you who entrusted us with your holy covenant your body and blood on the altar by the descent of your holy spirit on the bread on the wine and commanded us saying this do in remembrance of me we ask you O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us O Christ, our God, have mercy on you people and successor of your apostles. Bless the fruit of the earth and give gladness to the heart of man through the abundance of fruits and blessings. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O begotten of the Father, who is incarnate from the Blessed Virgin, Saint Mary, in the fullness of time, who said unto your holy apostle, Go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them and teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. I am with you almost <coughs> even unto the end of the age. Be also with your people who cry at you, saying, We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O forgiver of sin and provider of all things, forgive the sins of your people and purify them from all blemish. Cleanse them from all deceit and keep them from bearing false witness and from all envy and slander uproot from their hearts all evil thought formerly the unbelief pride and hardness of the heart we ask you all of to hear us and have mercy on us you are the remnant of our salvation of your focus in principle fortress bring to me the counsel our adversaries and transform the sorrow of your servant into joy. Fortify our cities, defend our Orthodox leader, and pray for the peace of the world and the church. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Amen. 
O oh God of mercy and compassion, Lord of all comfort, do not be angry with us, do not rebuke us for our evil deeds, nor from the multitude of our sin, do not be raised with us, nor, nor let your wrath endure forever. Hear us, O oh God of Jacob, and look on us, O oh God our helper, protect the world from this scarcity, plagues, devastation, the sword of enemy, Earthquakes, horror, and all the fearsome events. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. For the sake of our protection, under your mighty holy hand, O God, we ask you to keep for us the life of our honored Father, the patriarch of our God, the second. Confirm him in his throne for many years and peaceful time. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O Christ, our God, we ask through your goodness and your great mercy to keep for us the life of our fathers, the metropolitan, the bishop, and all the leader of the flock. Confirm the sheep of your flock. Grant the protection to the priest, purity to the people, strength to the elder, understanding to the young, chastity to the virgin, cynicism to the monks, purity to the married, protection to the woman. And we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Again, we ask for the safe return of the traveler, support for the widows and orphan, abundance for the poor, those who are in debt, pay their debts and forgive them, those who are in prison and distress, give them release, heal the sick, and repose the departed. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. O oh God of our Holy Father, do not neglect those whom you have created with your holy hands. O you who manifested your love to mankind, O merciful one, accept from your mother an intercession on our behalf. Save, O oh Savior, you humble people. Do not leave us to the end and do not forsake us forever. For the sake of your holy name, do not break your covenant. Nor take away from us your mercy for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. We ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us.
Christus benoti. Herine moinane te kerine sam nane te kerine kene novi da rivo sokte te gom nam bi onam bi zmonam bi amahi shaini amin me kasvesto pre thankfully our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as in heaven we say our daily bread give us our distress as we do this friends and enemies lead us on our creation but there is not to be in our society the love of God, the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Go in peace and peace, our Lord Jesus Christ, be with you all. We yeah, thank God very much for the blessing of His eminence uh, today uh, and also on our Sunday book. Um, we're going to pray. Uh, just a few announcements. God willing, tomorrow we'll start at 8 o'clock um, with, with the Basque service, including the Liturgy of the Waters and the Divine uh, Eucharist will probably end around 1 p.m. and will continue um, later on that night, same time, 6 o'clock, and God willing, uh, Buna Mina Gerizu.